place. No, right. And you don't want to beat that guy that gets registered. What? I'd be like, if you don't want my business. Dude, if I get a misdemeanor fine. at Lululemon. Well, there you go. There's you got other problems. Things. Yeah. Hey there. Welcome to New Gun Guy 2020. My name is Troy, and you are awesome for watching this. My wife Amy and I, this past year, joined the ranks of 5 million people that became first time gun owners. On this channel, I will document our journey, coming at this thing like a noob that I am. I'm not an expert, but I hope to interview some. Ultimately, I hope to ask questions and get good answers for us new gun owners. Bottom line is, shooting is a ton of fun, especially with someone that you care about. I'm glad you're joining me on this journey. New Gun Guy 2020. Hey, how you doing? Troy, new gun guy. 2020! Right mm -hmm. And this is my friend Life, who's not new to not guns. Not new. No, you're 35 like years plus. Old gun guy, 19. I don't look that old, but. 80 ish. Yeah, mid 80s. Nice. Well, early, probably 79, 80, BB gun. Yeah. And shooting thousands and thousands of, you know, like the milk cartons full of BBs. Yeah. Getting very proficient with. <clears throat> pump first just the regular daisy mm -hmm. then the pump bb gun so you can and shooting really little plastic toy soldiers or whatever army gets just to that's like get the that size of a in. mortar for them that's yeah a big old yeah oh yeah no, like a cannonball it'll leave a little divot all right <clears throat> so uh guns yes they're uh there's a lot to decide a ton right a ton like we're talking about purpose like you i know you're a hunter yep so you've got guns that are like take down big yeah, game. I mean, it's shotguns, rifles, ten different kinds of rifles depending on what you're shooting. Right. Uh, also, your age and size. Small women are gonna not want to shoot oh, a it's seven. Oh, like age and size of the animal. Oh like, yeah, that's well. very specific. <laughs> no, <laughs> sorry. So age and size of the shooter. Got it. Uh, yeah. Because like, I'm a bigger guy. Yeah. And I can carry a bigger, heavier gun that has a bigger kick. Yeah. Um, so with some of our deer rifles, I mean, I, I bought, my mom is, I'm 6'2", six, 6'3", six, and my mom's 5'3", mm. and she wanted to go deer hunting. Right. So I took her out deer hunting, I bought her a very small three oh eight, uh, or was that a thirty out 6 Anyways, it was a small gun, but for her it was still heavy. Mm -hmm. So she would try to put that barrel up, and she would just kind of <laughs> do this, and I'm like, Mom, you're not shooting dolphins. <laughs> you're, you're shooting a deer. So, you know, so that just oh. wasn't going to... So that's just something to think of. And then my daughters, when they were younger, having them shoot a 12-gauge yeah. shotgun, I mean, it would knock them on their butt. Yeah. So you get a, you know, even a 20-gauge might be heavy. Yeah, like a 410 um, then? Or 410, you know. Yeah. So there's just different things to think about. And also, you know, bigger guys like you and I carrying a full frame, you know, 1911 mm -hmm. or a full 9 millimeter. Versus a, you know, smaller, um, you know, just kind of a smaller sidearm that you just carry everywhere. Because yeah. these things get heavy. So the next best thing after you figure out the gun and the caliber is the holster. Right. And just like guns, guns have all these different applications. Yes. You need to determine how you're going to carry. carry this thing. You want to carry it. And there's some... So let's talk about the different places you can carry it. So obviously you have a rig right here. Yes. And and. Uh, yeah, so I have a sidearm on my waist. I have, Are you left-handed? I am left-handed. Wow. So that's why I cross-draw here. Got it, got it. Yep, and then okay. here. I just put it together. Yes. I'm lefty, but I shoot right. So, you know, I didn't totally plan when I came in here because I thought, as I was driving here, I'm like, oh, I should have done one where I, keep, I have a holster that's called Thunderwear. Oh, yeah. So it's a custom-made holster that Is that the that one you goes, pull up? Yes, out of your crotch area. I mean, it's, so you just want to make sure you have the safety on and don't put your finger on the trigger. Right just by your crotch. I, I I can tell you right now. <laughs> so that's appendix carry. Well, that one is actually below. It's like yeah, it's right in your junk. Right. So I have a fundamental like that's just not something I'm probably gonna do. I just okay. So just saying. So for me, right. When when Minnesota first came up, that's one of the first holsters I got because I wanted to be able to carry legally. I can carry to sporting events and uh, the Mall of America. I mean, all these places that say. You cannot have a gun in here. Guns are banned. That is an illegal post. They, that's, that is against the law, wow, okay. the way they have that posted. Because signage has to be at a certain height, at a certain font. And in Minnesota, they're supposed to have it printed and verbally tell every person that comes into the store. And they're not doing that. And they're not doing that. So yeah. you can carry. The only place we cannot carry in Minnesota as 
citizens is any federal building, school, and that's it. And you can carry in the airport, just not through security. But anywhere else, so multi-tenant office building or a mall, they cannot post. Uh, individual tenants can post. So if you're at a mall and like Amber Crombie, Fetch, or whoever, Lululemon, they can post. Okay. And they can stop you from going in. But it's not against the law for you to go in anyway. And yeah. we can do another episode on this. Sure. If you want. But you can go in there and they'd say, you can't have a gun in here. Well, if you can't see it. Right. And honestly, you'd want me here if something did go down. But right. that's another story, too. All they can too. do is ask you to leave at yeah, that all point. All they can ask you to leave. And if you say, no, I'm not leaving, then they call the police and it's a misdemeanor. Mm, they okay. just You get a citation for 30 bucks or whatever. Well, I don't want one of those. No, right. And you don't want to be that guy that gets registered. What? I'd be like, if you don't want my business, Dude, if I get a misdemeanor at Lululemon, well, there you go. You got other problems. problems. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's some... Although, I'll tell you what, those pants are pretty comfortable. Yeah? I've never actually... <laughs> maybe I don't want to admit if I had, but you could just put those things on so nice and tight, then put the gun in there. You don't even need a holster because they're so tight. But anyway, so get back, getting back to holsters. <laughs> People carry here, there, waist, back, lower back, uh, yeah, they're in the like waistband. Three o'clock positions, yes. like here, yep. four o'clock. Yep. In the waistband, outside of the waistband. I like mine outside of the waistband because I'm, I'm not a little guy, so I feel if I had something inside my waistband, yeah. it would make an impression on my skin. Yeah. I'm like, I don't need more crap in there. So for me, I like having it on the outside. It's quicker access for me. Sure. Um, do you think about the belt as much as you do the holster when it comes to? Because uh, I've heard some people say, "Man, you're." Your rig is only as good as your belt. Or so I used to think that. So I spent a hundred bucks on a hard leather belt. Yeah. You know that's like got Teflon in there or whatever. So it's really rigid. a rigid, rigid belt. That thing's not rolling. No. Right. So I'm like, that's what I'll use. It was so uncomfortable because it was like having a piece of wood wrapped around my waist. I'm like, oh, that sucks. Right. So you just get a nice leather, thick belt. I've never had a problem since. Sure. I am a huge fan of leather. Okay. So this, I mean, you just, your belt loop goes right in here. Yep. It sits right on the outside. Uh, you know, it makes yeah, the you're impression. Not clip, you're not yep, clipping no that clip. on. No, so no clip. Once you put it on, you're pretty much committed to having that holster on. Yep. yep. And it, it kind of forms to the gun. So that's why I really like leather. Yep. Uh, this harness I have right here. Uh, 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 um, this is Italian leather that I ordered from Italy. But this is just, it's a beautiful leather with this heavy duty stitching. And when you get the gun, or when you get the holster at first, you're supposed to wet down the leather, and you put your gun in there and let it Got sit it. overnight. And I mean, you can see the, tr yes. the trigger yep. imprint even on it. That's amazing. So when you buy a holster, make sure you look for left or right. I mean, 99% yep. of holsters are designed right. for right-handed people. Yeah. So just make sure. Uh, but if you get a universal one, you can switch it you yeah. know, back and forth. Uh, and you're going to start investing some money when you start you know, getting more into guns. If you're spending... You know, entry level at four or five hundred bucks for a gun, you get into a couple thousand bucks. You know, don't chintz on the the hardware to carry it. Yeah. Uh, or the accessories. And I'll, let me just put some of this stuff away. And I'll just I'm speaking from experience, and this is from you know thirty five yeah. years of carrying guns. So just so you know, this is a when Life and I talked about like topics that we could talk about. He mentioned this bag, and I said. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have to talk about that because I've heard every gun owner who's been into guns for a while and has varieties of guns, they have a drawer or a bag yeah. or an old car full of holsters. I, I do. I think I, I just went through this bag because I was going to probably try and sell some of these, but I probably have, I think, 50 or 60 holsters. So, you know, each holster has... And they're each they're specific to the gun. Too, they are correct? specific to the gun. Leather ones you can usually maybe get a couple different caliber types. Right. Uh, this right here goes to my Beretta, and this is one of the ones I ordered from Italy. So, so they the put Beretta your initials you had, on it. Yes. The Beretta you had here. So this is so I can carry it on my waist. Yep. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's different angles. Yeah, that's so called put canting the or something, yep. right? So you can carry it more upright or at an angle. Yeah. I like mine at an angle, so it's just a quick and easier yeah and when i sit if i have it straight up and down it just it kind of pokes me in the leg this probably won't make this this part probably won't make yeah. the uh, video but it's i'm learning um and so I, here's here's the thing this is what i'm excited about yeah is like my other channel that yeah. followed um 
craft beer. Yeah. I learned a lot by interviewing oh, people. Right. right. And so this is exciting to me because I feel like I'm, I'm learning, you know, I'm new. I'm a total newbie and I know what some of this stuff is and I know about like retention on holsters and, and all that stuff, but it's cool to, to learn from someone, you know, that's done this. Right. So this is that paddle kind of thing, right? Yep. So this is standard paddle and they have ones that you have a release. I think I probably have one in here, yep. but this is just, it's a hard pull in and out. Got it. And, um, and, and you can adjust the, you know, where it snaps on that. Here is, I have a bunch of different shoulder holsters that I tried for different guns. Yep. This goes down your back, so that hooks up to the back of your belt. Got it, so the strap, there's a little yep. loop. Um, wow, wow, wee woo, look at all this stuff. Yeah, so I mean, you know, all the different cables. Then you got left side, right side. This is for, a, this has got a release. So this is for a 45, and this has a release. So if somebody came up and tried to grab you or yeah. pull the gun out, the nice thing about these hard plastic holsters, it's really hard to pull the gun out unless you're the operator of the gun, if you're the holder of the gun. With or without the button even. With or without the button, but with the button, that just adds an extra yeah, measure it, of security. Doesn't that clip onto the it, actual trigger yes, guard? Yep, it locks the gun in place. Down inside there, you probably won't be able to see it, but cool. Um, and just, I mean, leather is the ticket, and yeah, this. Right. I mean, when you think about it, this is going to be on you if you're doing it like you're talking about yep. every day. This thing's on you, like it's very personal. Right. Item. Yep. Uh, so thank you Where for letting, is. letting me touch your personal. <laughs> this is an in the in the waistband. Oh. Okay. Um. And what I have found. Oh, I see. Yep. You know, and here's here's this smaller for smaller caliber. It's got a clip on it, so like, yeah. Yeah. What about pocket carrying? Uh, very small, like if you do a 380 or yeah. a 32 caliber or something like that. But you still have a holster or I something. I still have a holster. It looks, uh, there's one Because the trigger's the big deal, right? you got to cover up the trigger. It's covered up the trigger. Yeah. And uh, the imprint on your pants, it looks like a phone. Our friend Bill, yeah. who I just did an episode yep. with, uh, he talked about it. He said, you know, you might spend a hundred and whatever, 150 bucks on a holster, a leather holster. Yeah. But when it's broken in, it's worth way more than that. Yeah. And you'll have it for a lifetime. Yeah. It's like, it's your holster. Yep. So, cool. Dude, I appreciate you, yeah. man. Uh, we're, we're definitely going to have like three or four episodes out of this. Okay, well. But, yeah. <laughs> so, but we'll have to have a reason to get together and yeah. maybe we'll go down. And I'll do this. I mean. Go to the range. and I'll do this again. I mean, yeah. this is. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. And uh, yeah, keep your stick on the ice. Yes. No, what, I, I need to come up. <laughs> Safe with shooting out there. No, there's like, train hard, train smart. No, it's a, uh, there's a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Shoot straight. Keep shooting straight. Uh, What's that Hill Street blues? And be safe out there. Oh yeah, be safe out there. And be safe out there. Yeah. Get, get closer to the mic. And be safe out there. <laughs> Peace! We have all kinds of episode names. I'm sure. Up. Yeah. So just just one. bring it over here a little bit. Just okay. to, I, I don't want to block your... No, you're going to be uncomfortably close. And okay. I didn't ask you about a mask. Oh, well, this we filmed this pre-COVID, thank goodness. Yeah, <laughs> right. Got right in front and of I've that. I've already had it. I've already had oh, it. Oh, that's right. You're, you're, so I'm good. I'm you, asymptomatic. Do you want to make, make out? Because yeah. then you maybe get the antibody. I love it. Yes. <laughs>